mikono jua gulo msinze yoyo gire kulinyali yetu kufu Oshani dea imu kama kato ando miza yu mtu ya na Oshani dea kwa takisi wa chamba na chi Oshani dea kwa tukuma tulise na tubezao Tuko shenza kwa kutubo ye mtu na jafe Tuko tendeleza ayu katunda wafe Tuko gulo miza kuwango oshani dea Manga Israeli Mkwano kwa fuwe chise chinji ya takwao Uwewe chiti wanetendo aimu kama O guru miswe O tendere zewe O wewe chiti wa Mkristo Yesu mkama wafe Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Amen We tulideko mkubera okwe Be seated in his presence I greet in the name of our Lord Jesus our Lord. I thank God that has kept us through the previous days. And he's going to take us through this year into next year. Amen. Amen. I passed with some of my family members. I request they stand and wave to you. Amina. Amen. Ate na ni nami kwa no jangi benja galenyo. Still, I have some friends of mine that I love so much. Bafu de Kenya ne baja valire kuno Christmas. They came from Kenya to have their Christmas from here. Baba de watambla na fokuya dalamu hagwechi na chenda mo muna ana. They have been moving along with us since 1998. Era bwe nalwala mu 15 ne ntuka ku death point beba sensembeza kusobola okuddawo kubera ku recovering When I fell sick in 2015 to that death point they brought me close and nursed me until I recovered Let me request them to stand up But we will reco engineer Ogege Sam Ogege and Rose Rosalyn Ogege They're waving to us and young Michi. <laughs> Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Come I thank you so much. I thank so much the pastors. And the entire team ministering here at UCC. For the work that you've sustained and carried on. Sichangu Okuita mu transition. It's not easy to go through a transition, but we thank God that has helped you through. Pastor Fever, I was really anxious, eagerly waiting to listen to you. Naye, live One day. Mukama Praise the Lord. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Tell your neighbor Happy New Year. I thank for the God for the minister that I've ministered in this conference. I believe on the great messages that the word given to us. Amen. Amen. John chapter 8. And verse 31. Verse 31. Can we come back let me begin from verse 30. This happened in the days of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he was preaching the gospel. Many people that had him preach, they believed in his words. I want to lay emphasis on that. 
and people believed. There are times he preached and they refused. In verse 30, the Bible has said, As he spoke these words, many believed in him. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. This is where I want to base my sharing today. They had already believed on him. In other words, they had already accepted his salvation. Just like you and I. But Jesus took, took it that it, that's not enough. It's not enough to stay at that level. And he said to them, if you abide in my word, he did not say, if you hear my word, if you believe my word, if you read my word, he said, if you abide, Abide in my word. Not only passing through it, not only reading it, not only listening to it, but abide in it. Day and night. Do you remember what God said to Joshua? This book of the law shall not depart from your lips but you shall abide in it day and night I want to say that many many people today who are believers in Jesus Christ do not know what it means to abide in the word of God. And there are uh, more than 90% of believers who have never read the Bible from cover to cover. I used to convince myself I, I used to believe that I've read the entire Bible because I knew so many scriptures thank you but this is how I used to read the Bible I would open anywhere and read I would say today I'm going to read in the Old Testament I'm going to read in Kings 1 and I would read a number of chapters. The next day I said, I'm going to read in Matthew. And I could read the entire Matthew. The next day I go to Exodus. And I would read the entire, I mean, entire, a good part of the book. As a result, I knew so many scriptures both in the Old and the New Testament. And I believe that I had somehow covered the whole Bible. Mm. In 1988, when the Lord visited me and gave me the calling that I ran in, He said to me, you think you know my word but you don't know I counsel you go back and read my word page by page line by line from cover to cover if you will obey that I'll teach you my ways. Amen. Amen. Let me just ask a question. 
And I will ask you to answer it not to me but to the Lord. How many here would say I have ever read the Bible from cover to cover? Less than 10%. And Jesus said to the Jews who had believed on him, Abide in the word. And you will be, you'll truly be my disciples. Believing you did well. But are you his disciples? Have you abode in his word? This is not to condemn you. <coughs> this is to perfect you. Jesus himself said to those who had believed on him, yes, yes, Abide in my word. You will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. I want to give you a very good illustration. It's in the book of First Kings. Chapter 22. Please go there with me. And I, I think it's in Second Kings. I'm going to read the entire chapter. Now, don't be surprised if I'm encouraging you to read the word. <laughs> then there's no problem reading an entire chapter. <laughs> Josiah was eight years old when he became king. And he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jedida, the daughter of Adiah of Boscath. Now, take note of this. This king began to rule when he was eight years. Verse 2. And he did what was right in the sight of the Lord. And walked in all the ways of his father David, he did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Amen. Amen. Bible says, Whose report shall we believe? This is the report of the Lord concerning this young man. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord and walked in the ways of his father David. He did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. I repeat verse 2. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord. And he walked in the ways of his father David. He did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Now it came to pass in the 18th year of King Josiah the king sent Shaphan the scribe the son of Azaria, the son of Meshulam, to the house of the Lord, saying, Go up to Hilkiah, the high priest, that he may count the money which has been brought into the house of the Lord, which the doorkeepers have gathered from the people. And let them deliver it into the hands of those doing the work who are the overseers in the house of the Lord. And let them, when the house of the Lord, doing the work of the Lord to repair the damages of the house. 
bazi waba kozi be mirimu abali mu nyumba ya mukama okudabiriza ebituli bya nyumba to the carpenters and the builders and the masons ababazi na bazimbi na bazimbi ba mayinja and to buy timber and hewn stone to repair the house era no ro kugula emiti na mayinja amabaje okudabiriza nyumba however there need be no accounting made with them of the money delivered into their hands because they deal faithfully na ye tebaba lirira muwendo eliyabo ogwefeza ezaba wewa mu mukono gwabwe kubanga bakolanga no bwesigwa then he'll kill the high priest say to shaphan the scribe awokirukia kabona asingo bukuru na gamba safani i have found the book of the law in the house of the lord tinzude ekitabe kya mateka mu nyumba ya mukama everybody say with me I have found the book of the law. Say it again. I have found the book of the law. Who was Hilkiah? Hilkiah was the high priest. The highest of all the priests in the land of Israel. And as they were repairing the house of the Lord, Hilkiah found the book of the law and said, I have found the book of the law. Wait a moment. Even the high priest did not have the book of the law. And when he found it, it was a big thing. He said, I have found the book. Which book is that? The Bible. Bible. I have found the Bible. So what were they using before that? Memory of whatever they knew to be right. Memory of what their fathers had told them. Stories of what God had done in the past. Just like many, many of us are walking like today. Not that we don't have the book. But we don't know the book. We don't read the book. We don't go through the book thoroughly. But we walk with memories. Pastor Son so said this. Oh, brother said this. I remember. In the in 1988, when the Lord had just started ministering to me personally. One day he was talking to me and I said, I spoke back to him. And I said, but Lord, you said in your word, A, B, C, D. And he said to me, where is it written? And I said, Lord, I don't remember where. But I know that you, it is in the Bible. And he said, it's nowhere in my word. Those are words you heard from your human preachers. How many words have you heard that you are walking by and yet they are not in the Bible? Just see a preacher standing on the pulpit and he translates the Bible according to his own word. And then after he said, the Lord said, the Bible says in the Acts of the Apostles, I think the Bible says in the Acts of Probably they were the men from Paul Israel. And Paul says they were good. Every time they would hear the gospel he has preached, they would go back to the scripture and they opened the church to affirm. Today we have people who hear and you, you can listen to this on radio and TV we have so many preachers praise the Lord but as well we have so many her heresies and 
false interpretations of the Bible. That's why you hear today preachers on TV crisscrossing each other. That's why you hear today men of God defiling the testimony of the name of the Lord. And people are confused. They don't know who is right and who is wrong. Or they are sure that is wrong. Then they wonder why do people keep going there when this person is doing ABC. For one reason, they don't know the word of the Lord. Hosea wrote and said, they perish for lack of knowledge. And because they have rejected my knowledge, I have rejected them from being my priests. People, this is a serious issue. It's not a luxury to know the word of God. God says, if you reject the knowledge of my word, I reject you from being my priest. And people perish for lack of knowledge. So what we are touching here today is not just a good subject. It is a condition of life. And Jesus said to those Jews who had believed on him, Abide in my word. And you will truly be my disciples. Today, one of the greatest lies the enemy has fed the church is that you can be a Christian and be a winner without knowing the word of God. Without constantly feeding on the word of God. I remember Pastor Bugembe's song of people who go to church without the Bible. That when he says receive it, I also say receive it. They depend only on what the preacher is saying, whether right or wrong. And I want to say to you, do not even depend on my own words. You depend on the word of God. Amen. Amen. Let me finish my illustration. So, we have just seen the high priest has just discovered the book of the law. So, and Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan and he read it. Who is Shaphan? Shaphan yani. He's like Principal private secretary of the king. So he receives the book of the law from the high priest. Not that the book has just come. The book has been around all along. But they had not been taking notice of it. When Shaphan read the book, he couldn't keep it to himself. The Bible says in verse 9, so Shaphan the, high, the scribe went to the king, bringing the king word saying, your servants have gathered the money that was found in the house, and I've delivered it into the hand of those who do the work who oversee the house of the Lord. Then Shaphan the scribe showed the king saying, Kilkia the high priest has given me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. Now it happened when the king heard the words of the book of the law, that he tore his 
clothes. Na yuza ebyambalo bye. Eh. Lwachi ya yuza ebyambalo. Why did he tear his clothes? Bible ya tugambye. The Bible told us. Ono omusajja yali atambula bulunji maso ga mukama. This man was walking right before the Lord. Atacha amira ku kono oba ku dio. Who didn't divert to the left or to the right? Na yebwa agenzo kulira ebigambe yiva mu kitabo. But when he hears the words that come from Na gira gira nya standard ya mukama mu kitabo. No bula mu bwe. And compares the standard of the of God in the book and Yakungu his. Ya kungu ba gabu He just cried. Na yuzebi ambalo bi. And tore his. Na gamba tu fude. And he said, "Wo unto us." Tu fude. Wo unto us. Mukama tu amuva koda. We already forsook the Lord. Listen. Then the king commanded Hilkiah the high priest. Ahikam the son of Shaphan. Akibo the son of Milkiah. Shaphan the scribe. And Asiah the servant of the king. Saying, Go, inquire of the Lord for me. For the people and for all Judah. Concerning the words of this book that has been found. For great is the wrath of God. The Lord that is aroused against us. Because our fathers have not obeyed the words of this book. To do according to all that is written concerning us. Before he heard what was in the book, he thought he was walking right. And he was convinced. Because he didn't have anything convicting him. When we fail to understand the word of God, we get convinced that we are well off. Not until you look into it for the word of God is a mirror. And he said, oh, I reduced a bit. There I compromised. There I slid. May God have mercy on me. But when you take a very long time, without looking at at the mirror, you will get scared the day you This is what happened. The king whose testimony was so good that he walked in the ways of David not turning to the right or to the left and was convinced he was good suddenly is shocked and he sent a big delegation to go to the prophetess says, go and inquire for us because we have not obeyed the words of the book even our fathers if you don't have the word if you don't have the book you walk by memories of what your fathers said but the king says now even our fathers did not obey if I don't read the bible I walk on here seas of the preachers but the day I will read the word myself, I will understand that all, even the preachers that have been preaching have not obeyed it. Who is listening to me and say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So listen to this. So Hilkiah the priest, Ahikam, Akabo, Shaphan, and Asaya went to Hulda, the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikva, the son of Harhas, keeper of the wardrobe. She dwelt in Jerusalem in the second quarter, and they spoke with her. 
Then she said to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Tell the man who sent you to me, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring calamity on this place, and on its inhabitants. All the words of the book which the king of Judah has read, because they have forsaken me and burnt incense to other gods that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be aroused against this place and shall not be quenched. But as for the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, in this manner you shall speak to him. Thus says the Lord, God of Israel, concerning the words which you have heard. Because your heart was tender, and you humbled yourself before the Lord when you heard what I spoke against this place. And against its inhabitants. That there would become a desolation and a curse and you tore your clothes and wept before me. I also have heard you. Surely, therefore, I will gather you to your fathers, and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace. And your eyes will not see the calamity which I will bring to this place. So they brought back word to the king. Amina. Amen. It's so kiradala. The very first thing. They did not even know that judgment was looming over Israel. That judgment was looming over Israel. That is what happens when we don't know the word of God. We think everything is okay. When God is saying, unless you repent, this is coming to you. That's why when the king heard the words of the book, he realized judgment is coming to the land. That's why he tore his clothes. That's why he moaned. That's why he acted quickly. And he said, please go to the prophetess and ask her, what shall we do? We have not obeyed God. We have not walked according to the book. And the prophetess said, this is what the Lord says. I am going to bring calamity upon this land. I am going to bring judgment to this land. And I am going to leave your land desolate. But that man who had these words and humbled himself and mourned that one I'm going to have mercy upon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even today there are people here you fall in the category I've just been describing you, you love the Lord but you don't read his word you don't feed on it you don't meditate on it you don't walk in it or you think you do but without feeding constantly on the word you are deceived that you are something that you are not. But if today, like that king, when you hear these words, you humble yourself and you say, Woe unto me, Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord. I thought I was okay. But now I realize things are not fine. God will say to you, as he 
say to Josiah, I will have mercy on you because you humbled yourself, because you made your heart tender. Let us take a minute. I want you to close your eyes and meditate. What does it mean to walk believing you are blameless? You are upright, not turning to the right or to the left, and yet so far away from the word of God. What does that mean? Because unless you meditate on it, you will not even get the full impact of what it is. All right, let's now go to chapter 23. Chapter 23 says, Now the king sent them to gather all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem to him. And the king went up to the house of the Lord with all the men of Judah and with him all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the priests and the prophets and all the people, both small and great. I want you to picture that. He called all the people of the kingdom of Judah and all the inhabitants of the capital city, Jerusalem, and all the priests, and all the prophets, and all the young, the old, the big, and the small. And he brought them to the house of the Lord. Verse 2. Then the king went up to the house of the Lord. No. Verse 3. The king stood by a pillar and made a covenant. Excuse me. I did not finish verse 2. And he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant which had been found in the house of the Lord. Now listen, something very interesting here. The first time he heard the words of the book, he did not read the book. Shaphan read the book to him. And he heard the words. He tore his clothes. But now, the king himself is the one reading. That's interesting. I, I had a, a disciple when I was teaching about reading the word of God and he said pastor for me I just put the Bible in my car this audio Bible so that I can hear it being read to me and that is how I read the Bible. And I said, brother, it is good because it's the word of God. And it will still minister to you. But until you read it for yourself, it will never be internalized. How are you going to say it is written in Isaiah 45 verse 7 when you just hear the word read to you, you don't see the verses. When you read the Bible for yourself, it depends, I mean, it's interesting. When I used to read the Luganda Bible, sometimes I would be looking for a verse and I don't remember the verse number. But I remember the position on a certain page in a certain book 
where that word is. Sometimes I even underlined it. And I would go in the book and just open the pages. And I would find it. Because I saw it with my own eyes. Because I interacted with it. If I just heard it, I wouldn't know where to start looking for it. It is good for Shafan to read for you. But it's good for you to read for yourself. Someone say amen. So today, this time we are looking at, the king is not waiting for Shafan. He himself reads the book to Israel. After reading, listen to what happened. Then the king stood by a pillar and made the covenant before the Lord to, to follow the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all of his heart and all his soul to perform the words of this covenant that we are written in this book. And all the people took a stand for the covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the theme of this conference? In a man what? Renewed. Josiah was an inner man thinking is okay. But I want you to see the impact of the word of God upon him. Here we are seeing Josiah renewed. Josiah made new and transformed. Come on, give the glory to God. And what made the difference? The book. Lift up the book and I see. That book will make a difference. That book will make a difference to your inner man. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to read the scripture to you. I think it's Psalms 128. 128. 128. Let's look at 138. Amen. Amen. Verse 2 says, 138, verse 2. I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. Listen. For you have magnified your word above your name. What? Every time we come together, we exalt the name of the Lord. We sing the name of the Lord. But now the word is telling us God has exalted his word above his name. He has considered his word to be greater than his name. How then can we go to him and say, I exalt you, but I don't have time for your word. Are you with me? I'm not here to just to preach a good sermon. I'm here to 
expose the devil's scheme. The devil deceives us that it's okay not to care about the word. But this word we are neglecting in the eyes of the Lord it is even greater than his name. By the word all creation came into being. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and all things were created by the word and without the word nothing is that was created. The word, everybody say with me the word. And Jesus said, all things shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. Do you see the devil's scheme? He makes you neglect the most important element in all the universe. And Jesus said, now listen to this one. I will not be the one to judge you. But my word will judge you. Now if you are not a friend of the world, when you are here on earth, what will you do when you face the word on the day of judgment? Jesus said, I will not judge you but the word will judge you. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the word of God is a hammer which breaks the rock. Now you are here going to one prophet after another prophet. Pray for me. Pray for my problems. And God says, but you have a hammer that breaks the yoke. Why don't you use it? The Bible says the word of God is fire that destroys. Why don't you use it to confront the problems that are coming your way? Don't you realize the devil is a liar? He makes us feel comfortable without the word. That's deception. And like Josiah, we look good until we look in the mirror of the word. Then we shall tear our clothes and cry. But if we continue in the word, then we shall renew our covenant with God. And we shall listen to what Josiah said. He's now a renewed man. He said, let us go back to the second, second Kings. Twenty-three. Verse three says. Then the king stood by a pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to follow. This is what he committed now. He made a covenant to the Lord to follow the Lord to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all of his heart and all his soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in the book. When is Josiah making this commitment? Now after reading the book. 
after reading the book, he makes a commitment to follow the Lord and to obey his commandments, his testimonies, his statutes, and to go do all, all those things with all of his heart and all of his soul. Do you see the impact of the word of God on him? Josiah. That will be the impact of the word of God on your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I used to encourage people to read at least 10 chapters of the Bible every day. And people would say to me, Wow! Eh, Ten chapters? Who can do that? That's too much. Then I would ask them, what, how many chapters do you read? And they'll say one or two. I asked one gentleman, he was a lawyer. I said, by the way, do you read the newspapers every morning? He said, oh yeah, I, have to, I need to stay informed. And I said, give me a newspaper. Look at this newspaper. By the time you are through it, you have read the equivalent of 10 chapters of the Bible. Let me illustrate it to you. Do you see this Bible? Do you see its volume? Let us just assume that each page, I mean, let us move from chapter 23. I want you to start opening, mark here. We are going to, we are reading, we are opening from chapter 23. Oh, no, let us start here. The second book of Chronicles from chapter 1. I'm, I'm opening 10 chapters. 10 chapters. Ah, these are 10 chapters. Do you see the volume of 10 chapters? Can you see the, the volume? Can you see the volume? And the devil tells you, that is too much. Is this bigger than a newspaper? And yet many people here read the book, the whole newspaper. Tell your neighbor, wake up. Wake up. And when some people are reading the Bible, they read the commentaries. They are things, they are words which are the word of God. And then there are those which are explanatory. And people love explanations more than the word of God. I want to tell you this. The explanations you can also make your own. So don't read explanations assuming you are reading the word of God. Let me ask you another thing. When we read a newspaper, what are you looking for? The stories. What is happening? You are not studying the newspaper. Mm -mm. You are not studying the newspaper. You don't go and open the dictionary to understand every difficult word you find. Why? Because the objective of your reading a newspaper is just to get knowledge of what is happening. That is what we do when we read the Bible. We want to get knowledge 
about God and what is happening in his kingdom. Bible reading is different from Bible study. Bible study is an in-depth digging into the word of God. And today I'm not talking about Bible study. I'm talking about Bible reading. We read to know God. That is the only objective of us reading the Bible. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. I, that is the driving force which makes us read the Bible. That I may know him. Amen. Amen. So I don't stop on every word I don't understand. Uh -uh. When I start Bible study, I will do that. There are some things I read and they are not very clear. It's okay. Keep reading. Keep reading. Whether you understand or you don't understand. The Bible is wonderful. It interprets itself. We, you may read here and you don't understand. Then, ten books ahead. You say, oh, now I understand why it says that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, don't worry whether you understand or you don't understand. And sometimes you read the word and you don't enjoy it. I used to read the Bible only when I enjoy it. If I do not enjoy, I would close that and go somewhere else. But that is an easy target. The devil will just make you bored. <laughs> it means then you will never read the Bible. Tell your neighbor, read whether you enjoy or you don't enjoy. One day you will appreciate it. When the scripture comes back to you and speaks into your situation and you say, hey, where did I read that scripture? But it was in one of those moments when you are just consuming the word. Now it comes to help you when you don't have any other one to help you. Whoa! Wow. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word of God will not pass away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What wealth, what preciousness we have is the most powerful force in the universe. It's the most precious treasure in the universe. And yet the devil makes us ignore it. Oh. I say to the people, when you're reading the word, don't even waste time reading these subheadings. Those subheadings are not the word of God. They are put there by people to try and help those who are struggling to read. So, you can ignore them. Ignore the study notes. You will read those when you are doing Bible study. But Bible reading, we read to get the story of God.
And the story of God is told by the Holy Spirit. So when you go into the Bible, remember you are going to hear a story from the Holy Spirit. Tell him, my friend, my teacher, my guide, my advocate, my helper, here I am. I have come to learn from you. Open my eyes, open my understanding, and give me revelation. Give me wisdom. Give me understanding. And give me concentration. As I consume your story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he will do it for you. Because Jesus said, I will not leave you as orphans. I will send you another helper. Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen to this. How many people at least are reading 10 chapters of the Bible every day? Uh oh. Okay. Now I want, I'm going to take, tell you something. During the lockdown last year, as we started the lockdown, we couldn't gather as churches. So we started online streaming. And I was teaching on a a theme, let God be God. And one day I was praying, preparing myself to, to share the word. And the Holy Spirit said to me, what you are sharing is simply brushing on the surface of the people's hearts because their hearts are not plowed. They need to plow their hearts. I said, Lord, how can we assist that to happen? And the Lord said, give them this assignment. Let them read the Bible from cover to cover in one month. Someone say amen. Now that looks impossible. But let me tell you something. The Bible has got 1,200 chapters. If you divide that by 30 days, which is one month, then you get 40 chapters. If you read 40 chapters every day, you finish the entire Bible in one month. <laughs> now, when we're doing streaming, we're not only talking to Ugandans. We had people in America, in UK, UK, Germany, Switzerland, and others. In Africa, Africa in Asia. And when, we, when I put this out, People sent questions. Is it possible? Can it be done? Do we stop working? Do we, because people are not working the lockdown. Do we stop doing anything and just read the Bible? And I said, I don't know. The Holy Spirit knows. Talk to him. And we started the Bible reading marathon. We call it Bible marathon. Bible marathon. And every day, 
We say after reading your 40 chapters, go to our group WhatsApp group and tell us seven things you have discovered about God which you did not consciously know. But now, after reading the 40 chapters, seven things that you have discovered about God, post them on the WhatsApp. So people began to do that. The first batch we had was about 60 people. And every day we were reading their feedback. And sometimes you say, wow. I had never seen this about God. Our God is amazing. He is infinite. And every day just reading the feedback was blessing my soul. I have not been participating actively for about eight months now because of different challenges in my life. But I just got a report. We are starting, because we've been doing the Bible Marathon now for about 15 marathons. Every time we finish, one month, we finish in one month. People would tell, about, tell others about it. And, and others would say, I want to do it also. And so we would do another month. With a new group of people. And many people would comment like this. I had never known God. But this marathon opened my eyes. Others would say, I thought the God of the Old Testament was a harsh God. And I normally only read the New Testament. I would only read the New Testament. But now that I've read the whole Bible, I have found a loving God, a patient God, a God of another chance, who endured Israel and did not give up on them. Amen. I mean, Others would say, my whole life has been turned upside down. And the Lord said to me, those who will do this will have their hearts plowed. Will have their hearts plowed. So that the word of God will have deeper impact in their lives. I want, I want to give you news. We are starting our next marathon on the 1st of January. And do you know we have more than 300 people registered from all over the world who are going to run with us this marathon. 30 days only. I remember when we were doing our first marathon. There were some two sisters. They are both married. But to encourage each other, one went to the home of the other. To, to read it together. And they even reached the point of putting their feet in a basin of water. <laughs> so that they don't sleep before finishing the 40 chapters. That's how serious they were. It was not a simple joke. Oh, oh, I failed today. Let, let me see tomorrow. We have friends here who are part of our missionaries. We sent them to Germany. And the lady was pregnant. Gave birth to a child that 
was medically challenged. Thank God they were able to come to Uganda for the first time after about almost eight years. But their son is, to, is 11 years. When his parents began this challenge, he also said, I'm going to read 40 chapters every day. And Michael finished the Bible in one month. 11 years old. Some, some of you are saying, ah, they, I can't do that. Can I remind you Jesus said to the people of Korazin, the people of Nineveh will stand in judgment of you. Because when they heard Jonah, they repented. But you have heard a greater than him. I tell you, a, a boy like Michael may stand in judgment against many people here. 11 years he read the Bible in one month and you are seated and saying ah no way no way remember the impact of the book on Josiah Dr. Selmaga I want to give a challenge to UCC Besides those 300 who have already registered, will you take this challenge as a church? As a ministry? And say, at least for one month, for the one time, let us try it. The whole month of Jan January, let's do a Bible marathon. marathon. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Are those hands supportive or? <laughs> Let me tell you, my very first Bible marathon was in the year, I think, 1990, I think. It was, it was called, called by Maurice Cerullo. A tweet that used to call a Bible marathon, Yali Dr. Maurice Thank you. And the way we did that marathon was like this. We started on Monday, on Sunday, and we would read non stop. And we read the whole Bible in one week. We would come. Someone would come and start reading a number of chapters and as he's finishing, he walks off the stage, another one comes on the stage. Morning to evening, evening to morning, morning to evening. If you got tired, you can go. But the word was being spoken into the air. Non-stop. I remember the first day we started we were at Watoto Church and when the service started we went into the smaller room Timothy class when the service ended before the next service started we would come out reading to the platform and when it's time for the next service, we walk back to the, to the room. And at the end of the week, we started praying for our needs. Healings, deliverance, miracles. God answered prayer. The word of God is that powerful. From that day, I treasured the Bible marathon. I could tell you more about other ways of doing a marathon, but I want to stop here. 
I gave you the illustration of King Josiah. And you see the impact that the word of God had on his life. So I'm, I want to leave you with this challenge. This is not the kind of word of message you hear and leave there. Let's embrace the challenge. Hallelujah. Let us join those others in many different countries who are starting their Bible reading marathon on the 1st of January. And let us push and push. You know, one of the things I enjoyed most, some people would lose pace and they wanted to give up. But the others would say, no, don't give up, don't give up. Push on. So by day 27, the ones who were fast had finished. And then you would see them encouraging the others. Come on. Come on, sister. Then they would, when the others reached 30, I mean, reached the end, there would be celebration. These are people who don't know each other in different parts of the world. But somehow they felt related. And by the way, one lady from Switzerland, her life was so blessed. She decided, I'm going to Uganda. She came to Uganda. She has bought a house in Uganda. And she loves being here. Amen. Others have come, visited, and gone back. If it is impacting those there, what about us here? The Luganda proverb says, that being closer to the lake some of you are near the lake but you are going hungry how many people would like I'm not saying you are already sure you are going to do it but you desire you feel a yearning you want to do it let me see your hands amen we are going to pray. And the Bible says, it is him who works within us to will and to do his good pleasure. Amen. So we are going to pray that he will work in you to will and to do his good pleasure. Amen. Let's rise unto our feet and give the glory to God. I'll ask the worship team to come up. The pastors, I would like to hand over to you as we go into prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy glory, glory to the Lord. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Sing glory, glory.
Mbakule kati Abana wana tebabule, abana wana bana bise, 
Mukama wakati mwenjala wakati mnyota wakati mkusomozewa wakati mkuzirika na wakati mkwe mutetegera otunye chigambo cho okuita mumuduo haikatona chinale mafe na yale tunja kule menerwa chinale mafe obukalo bomo yo bubadde bunji obuzito bubadde bunji etabaza zibadde zuwende mu mafuta etabaza zibadde zizimera etabaza zibadde zagala kuzikira mu mutufu mukama ne wevene je tubade twita wevene ya man e ya lockdown mukama manji bazikiride kubanga mulaba ya basanga mutabaza te muri mafuta na ye munange mukama tagere dedala cho mtu bwayayana na yesi bakuchintu na yayana na yayana urwada chino yogera no mulagirire dedala ne chikolo tuzude chikolo ne dedala wabade wokwe kangabiriza wabade wokwe kaza kaza wabade wokwe zamu amai wabade wokwe isako na yengo mulumi eri monda je muri Gari singa tunanga bagamba tuwabikola Gari singa tunanga bagamba tuwabimala yo Na yetu tegede Chitufwe tuline mbanja Oboya tubanja Mumini sigwe kutubanja Liru tuzi mansugu Otandasa inimenti masonga fe Haba tu COVID weja Nibaba teka kasa inimenti Nibaba we chokola Nibaba gamba mwenyo keze Haba tu mafumba amazi Haba tu mano nye vikola nye venyo keza kubanga bantu bali bagalo kone ndwa de ya covid na yena fetu tegende wabade wo covid yo wo moyo ya rumbe nyumba ya mukama wabade wo covid yo wo moyo yo bado bado kuyuziwa yuziwa bado bena wenji kirize mfunyi bado bena wentalo ne nyombo mu nyumba na ye mukama tutegende dagala he chigambo cha twetaga twetaga kudda yo kusima twetaga kudda yo kunyanja twetaga kudda yo kuvuba twetaga kudda yo kunonya bulamu enda kuzino ro kusaba kuzitoye kubanga te kuli mu chigambo tusabira mu biroto tusabira mu mpapula za maulire tusabira mu mbozi za abantu tusabira mu nyombo za abantu tusabira mu mboze zitakwatagana tusabira mu bintu byetulabe ku tv tusabira ku point za tujja ku social media tuliyo twikwansa ebintu ebyenjawulo kale tujasabira mu chigambo ngatuloma no ku quoting ebyawandikwa kale tuli nawe tuyimirira ukamaga mangulu mize chigambo change ngulu mize chigambo change okusinga erinyali yange na yenga twe kutte ku chigambo na yenga twe kutte ku bisubi twe kutte ku bigambo byabantu twe kutte ku bigambo byabayogera atenge byabantu bichuka tula byabantu abachuka na ne bigambo ngaruli ayogera chirala Nerera yogera chirala Neye mukama Ngavoli omura musebo Mukama ntenge ndolua nero Ngoli na chikende nerwa Habantu neba kukabiri na Mubeba kabiri na mukama Neba kabiri na mukama Wakati mubu yaga Wakati mubu rumi Neba kabiri na mukama Nenseba tuwala Nenseba tuwala ganya Ngavali wakati muka vuyo Mune lakabi na mukama Mukama na tumechi gambo che Nechiba wanya Hukuma mkuzikiri na kwawe Chino chingide yusisi mukama Chino chingide nyumbe na mukama Chino chingide kwangali na mukama Chino chingide omule mbegu na mukama Haika tonda wero omule mbegu Muyo swama ya tambula kona abantu Kwa abantu wa mbegu ni masango omule mbegu Kwa abana batali mbegu omule Na ya mukama wange No gamba yusu okomola Wakalo wambo komole Na ye munange mukama Mukama otu ingiza musizo ni ayo komole wa Echi gambo chochoka Chechi ni nobu ajobu komola Tu ingira musizo ni endala Tu ingira mufeze endala Jiva mkwiga hirira Ngomu duwa wayo gedomu tima kwe jetuli Ngomu duwa wata kwe kisipada tuwe kisiza Ngomu duwa wata chisirikinde Mkama ni chidya Obaba hati wa chitegera Fetu chitegede Mkama mtu wabera nga mwende Nima mutekira we dagara Nima tegele chimuruma Nima mutekira we dagara Na talibira Chibache unyi saba chikoze Nya yena fe mkama Tukiriza tuliba mwende Hechi gendo tuwanya tuchitegede Hechi gendo tusumula la chitu wade Mkama tundayo kusoma baibuli Awatali kumanyira Nga batajisoma angako Kulunangare tusomebe tugenda kubulira 
na yenga tusoma mukama nga tusoma bulamu nga tulia bulamu nga tulia muzingo ai katonda ai katonda tuoge doku manyane kugwayo tuoge de bizimba balanga de twezimbye tuoge de bilala abane bayi musiwa no tuko kuvawo ngate kwa ulira olianga akaze wabadde weli tubinji mukama bituonge de na yenga bulamu eri abalala na yenga kwa ulira muwali we chimulawo obwereza mtu bwenyigidde na yenga abawereza etabaza nkalu tadoba nkalu ngolu tambiru kalu na yetu komyewo saba sejja toyimirira mu manya ngo moyo mtu kuvu kubanga nakuzino zinyinze tulimu no gama mtu walwa bora abatana bagezigezi na abatana basirusiru Ogenda kwa ula bagezi, ogenda kwa ula basiru. Walu wabantu wabagendo kwe gulide tabaza. Bakula mafuta agamala. Nga batusome chigambo. Nga tuliku tabaza. Nga tusafora de. Nga tulimu kusita wali nga mafuta. Nga tulimu kuliza vinga mafuta. Kubange si wetu laza si wangu. Weta agabantu wabaline chigambo. Yeta agabantu wabaline kuchigambo. Haba na beba kenda kwe yongela Haba tuchawa na nyuele de mubulimba Haba chawa yesu Mbonge do kwe njiriza mubulimba babu Babu yigiriza ni babu somesa Babu nyuele de mu Na yefa bama nyama zima Tuka doji nga ne tuka busa maso Na yoru wale romu kama Baba anga wa someso mubulimba Mbonge do kubu nyonyola Fede tusomura kunyonyola biyafe Mukama na bantu wabu uzebi Tu kusoso media Na yengo na babali wakati mkutaburwa Nga baba ya nukula matabudua Yada nga baba kuzi Baba matiza bu matiza Na yetu komye walero Tunde kumusinji kwe chigamba Kubanga kwa suvi za no gamba Ndi wandi kama teka Kumitima jawe Ndi wandi kama teka Kumipanda bie mitima jawe Haba ntua wade wa duke misinde jaka waka Haba ntua wade wa duke misinde Nima gamba gine misinde Bajitege siru waku wanya hengwe Waku yamba wa wade wa hengsi Gine misinde bajitege siru waku yamba wa ntua wade wa hengsi Wabi enja ulu Na yenga fe mukana ange kanisa Tetumanyi marathoni za fe Na yetu chitege de Tu ingire chintu e chomu oyo Munse yo mubiri Tu ingire chintu e chomu oyo Munse yo mubiri Padanga tu ingire chintu e chitali chaburi jok E chitali chukulile t-shirt E chintu e chomu oyo E chitali chukulile bukebe E chitali chukulile buchupa Na ye chintu e chomu oyo Ai katondo mwinza webi tubio na Buli mukazi na buli musanja Tuma musafi seno mukama Kwa mazomu wa t-shirt ya yomu oyo Kwa mazomu wa mujozo ogomu oyo Kwa mazomu kumuamba ze chintu e chinala Ebanga ni tuwade tulabira mu TV Tukenda dijusa Ebanga ni tuwade tusomera mu Kwa masimu Ya tuwade tukomere na social media Ya tuwade tukomere na whatsapp Ya tuwade tukomere na mu facebook Ya tuwade tukomere na mu mukama tiktok Tukenda kuchuse mi Ntu wanwe mchuka Nse tufunde bize mubiayo Na yefete tujifunde bize mubia katonda Wanu waba tutengere roku tuwabia Wanu waba tutengere roku tuja kumukama Na yenafe mukama Tukenda kuwa kome tutengere la Hukumanya mazima Wanu waba tukenda kutengere la Hukumamu kuzikiri la Mukama Wabudewe simu tumukendeza Wabudewe simu tumukendeza Wabudewe social media tumukendeza Wabudewe TV tumukendeza Wabudewe radio tumukendeza Wabudewe mbozi tumukendeza Wabudewe all wali tumukendeza Wabudewe, wabudewe nsoji tumukendeza Mukama Kwega iridi Tulabechi samba songo Arange mukama Otutusiza wali omitima kwa conference Mukama Otu tu siza wali omutima kwa conference eno Otu tu siza wali omutima kwa conference eno Otu tu siza wali omutima kwa conference eno Asana wata aswale Asana wata alekewe Asana wata aganiwe Asana wana ya uliwa Mukama Tusomia mauline Nega chukana Tusomia novozi Nezi chukana Tusomia omutama tabo Nebu kwako Tuagala kudamu chigambo Kubanga ba wangu la ba wangu ni la mchigambo Mbibu ni negati mwesi wemi miu Mbani tabaza za mwezaka Tusaba hae katonda wenguru Yena yesizo ni jetu ingidem Okwe si wemi miu Mbani tabaza za fezaka Muli nyeri singa manyagona Tui ingilo lutano luamu oyo Habange tumaguka Habange tukoloko kam Walwe njijiri wanderi akwati Wabande wachimura angiti 
wabadde wachulangi chomu na bechi ya kiamba senyumba nge kanise rina chulangi tiche ya ingira tulimbize mubira tufunula virala tufunula sitole zabatu na yetu ingira murutalo okweja kechitundu vani mulinyari ya yesu tukulumba gana kwa mwoyo mubi tukulumba gana kwa echo yechimi echa kwa tenyumba ya mukama gana ukusabate kuchayi nzika tetu jaso wala flowing mukusaba nga wetu asaba anga tetu jaso wala na kwea ulako haba ntutusiba tetu sigeranga tutambula mutambuzi tutusiba netu anga wekala kaso wekala kasa tuwe sonyi wa mele haba mubali na mukusiba wakusana masafu haba mubali mukusiba wakukona figa na yenga sukusiba okwa kuli roku veri mukusiba kama ai kwa magombe lero tukukude mubufu bwa lero tukugoloko kerako muri nyali ya Yesu umuna zale so mwana katona kwecho yechi zikize tabaza kwecho yechi tutise bweru okugano kugenda kula mafuta ngate chance chaliwo bible yogedde ne gamba timunonye mukama ngabwa chaise ko kulabika ate mu mukabirire ngabwa chali okumpi muri nyali ya mukama kulumba kana kwa moyo mubi Kulomba kana kwa moyo kututabula Kulomba kana kwa moyo kutulemesa Kulomba kana kwa moyo kwe nsoy Kulomba kana kwa moyo kwe magombe Mubutufu Tutuse, tutuse, tutuse Tutuse kuchatulese mukonfluense Haba ntumachu kachigambo Haba ntumachu kachigambo Haba ntumachu kachigambo Haba ntumasi wabujelu achigambo Si chigambe chogerele Na ye chigambe chete gerede Echi gambe echi mikulidua Mukama wange Yesu Tujea jori Nga tulomba kano moyo kubade kutu ugula Nga tulomba kano moyo kubu siru na obu guabwa Nga tulomba kano moyo kubade kutu fura bize Tuku kama antu Fua Hukufa kuchikulu Muli nyari ya Yesu Tetuchafu na kubikuli luange kanisa Luanzo nga detulina kumanya Mukama wabana omu tuwa kubikuli luwa Asoka kumuwa kumanya Nari oka muwa kubikuli lwa Mukama mwe ya teka teka Paulo Ya soka kumuwa kumanya Naso mwabu farisayo na mwabu marayo Kati mwe ya mwle teno mukanisa Mwe ya mwle teno mwulokos Nari oka muwa kubikuli lwa Nandina mateka kwa nage ya soma Munda gane kade Nari oka ganjuliza mkristo Nafetu yi miridoro alero Kwe choye chibade chitu zizo kumanya nga techa wandikibwa kibe muri manyama zima na mazima gali bafura badembe nomba kana kwa moyo kwa kafuyo okubade kutandiso kuwanyi seria wandikibwa nga tukamba mukamo no sasira busasizi e echo chinnemye echo mukamo no sonywa busonyi na tuyingira mu bintu nga wetwebesa mesa nomba kana moyo kwa diversion fa okuva kuchikola muri nyali ya Yesu omoyo kutufura bize mu birala Nene tutabera bize mchikambo cha katonda Homoyo kutufula bize mbuweleza Nene tutabera bize negotuweleza Muli nyari ya yesu Fua Okufa kuchikolo Muyo guobu kusa nobu nafusi Okubangeli ya bantu tulinga wa tufu Na yenge rigo tuweleza Tumuli wala Mkumala muamani Mkumala muamani Habange mkumala muamani Kwa moyo kwa tamula watu soka kwa moyo kwa jabantu kumula mwa Nebera bila katonda chieva gamba Kumala mwa amani Kumala mwa amani Kumula tuwela bila chigambo cha katonda Tuma tusigesa vigambo vya bantu Hebi tususu, hebi tagasa Hebi tagere, hebi tazimba Na ye chigambo cha katonda Chiberele mirembe jona Nemu chisera chino mkama Tukiri zanga tuliba wangu zino kuchirao Kutumia chigambo cha kutuja wabi Tulangiri le chisa Tulangiri le tandi kwembia Tulangiri le tandi kwembia Wale wagama Tejo chente gende ngena kuchikola Wale wakula dikila lesson Wale wakula ukulangiri la Nagama nchite gende Nesawo inzo kuzau lako kakati Nechifo wogendo kutulo inzo chogira Nechota deche njini O inzo kuchogira Nogama mande mbize nyomu chino Kukufa kusawa wezi kwa kutuwa kusawa wezi Na ye nsezewo Nenda kolo kwa gala kwa mkama Nenda kolo kwa gala kwa katonda Esawa zoma do kone na mwe bibio Kukenda kuzijake chuwe wa ye chilene 
Ochiteka muka tonda Mukama zoku chima kuba wereza Mukama zoku chima kuba yayana Haba yayana kuereza muka baba badebanchi Na yenga atabe teke seba tono Hadaka no kuereza muka babanchi Na yenga beba tuwaro kuereza sabalala Tebabirina Na yemu kama Ukuita mulukunga analuno Wuna akasusen Wuna akasusen dobo Wuna akasusen sigo Wuna akabye sigo Hadaka no kuereza muka babanchi Nenga tla tumuwele reza mweru wa chigambo Oh katundu linaman Wabewe yera kulako Wabewe yeyo gilako Wabewe yezamu aman Wabewe yo gire vigambo nga vikakasu Wabewe yo gire vigambo Bio yo gira tobi emulugunya Bio yo gira tobi evuma Bio yo gira tobi nyoma Bio yo gira visimbe kama nyo Lakula nga mwogendo kusome sule ziwela Lakula nga mwogendo kwa kaka fo wotula Nguinza no kogira Yo gira kungeri yo gendo chikolamu Yo gire gire yo gendo chikolamu Katonda klonze Katonda nonze Katonda nja ude Katonda atimi ye chigambo Mukama sude chitimba Chigenda kukwasa Oh mukama Mukama luli wagamba petero Chila balero klonze Tochafu babye nyanja na te Na yo gendo kwa mfubi wabantu Mukama nerero sude chitimba Oku ita mumuwele zao Lo alero walue china mfubwa Ereche chifubi dua Nemi gonjo tachinja kutuka Na yaba antwa genda kuyimirida Haba antwa genda kolo kwa gana kwa mkama Obuwele zamula nise Hebi oto migenda kolo kwa kama umaka gaba antu Hebi oto migenda kolo kwa kama ufamile zaba antu Hebi oto migenda kolo kwa kama umikabi yaba antu Hebi oto migenda kolo kwa kukucharo Hebi oto migenda kolo kwa kama kanisa Hebi oto migenda kolo kwa kama umani Obla mwama sajinomo mwagenda kudamo mkolele Hama futa gaga nongana nise Etabaza, etabaza zigena kudamu zake Hala ntua gena kudamu kwa kamu moyo Baibu liyo gena ni gamba Jomu sajyo yo akbolo Yali abu lidwe kuboli amu kama Yali aya kamu moyo Kumanga yali abu lidwe kuboli amu kama Yabu lidwe kwa atakana ni kuboli ya katonda Na veranga ya kamu moyo Waluwa ya ka, waluwa kolera Waluwa kolera Kasoyo gena mazima guwa mutima guwa Nga choyo gero chika kasango nja chikola Mukama agenda kwe sirako Mukama agenda kulondola Haba mwana wabu zotulo Anaba golo kosa mutumbi Baneba kango mudebu chani Neba golo kokango mudebu chani Ah katondoli na amani Weba lo rechisa Weba le katondo wa amani Wow Eri katunda Maninga ya ni Musa Ya sumkono kwe Zenga ni Musa Chimfa makale yuwa E chitiwa Siwa chide Chitiwa, 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 ma, chitiwa, chicho.
If you've not understood that we've been visited, wait for someone else to tell you the same. But if you've understood that you've been visited, the words that mommy began with introducing what she was going to speak about have been answered by the instruction of God. Amen. The way she laid the foundation. The question was, is there a solution to all that she has spoken? But after the apostle has spoken, God has put medicine before you. If you're to swallow it, go on. If you can put it as a pillow, go on. But I want to tell you, God has visited us. Amen. Whatever you're going to hear thereafter, they'll simply establish what we've been revealed to. Come and help us to welcome Dr. Kurekanisa Asimbe. Come and help us to welcome Dr. Kurekanisa Asimbe. On behalf of the church, we appreciate what God has given us today. Answer it to Leko. Let me request that we get seated. Uh, Apostle John Dreyans is a nyo, 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 nyo. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Your coming has brought a great impact onto our inner man. There is a satellite church at Takalia Singanya. There is a satellite church at Takalia Fair. There are about four tents. They are all filled with people. They have all been following. We thought it would take you before you could preach, but time has caught us. But I know the people in the tents have also been blessed. Personally, I've been challenged. I've been challenged personally. Now we over Bible marathon. By the message of the Bible marathon. I know very many others. Those days when I was still practicing medicine, someone tell me there are challenges there after I make a prescription. Once a day. Some medicines they say once a day. And then I remember going to Ina Kumira. We were going back twice a day. She takes a little vanilla sour Kumira beer. 
other tablets. If they say twice, then that means every after 12 hours. Nevidana, nevidana. ETC, ETC. Nainze nabiyo moe mtu kufunga akola prescription nje truli. But I've seen the Holy Spirit make a prescription to us. Kuvigendo kuyambo mtu wa fowo mtu wa kudobucha. On what is going to help our inner man be renewed. Kwe kuteka huo instruction into mjanu ariono. Putting an instruction that this January. Tutamble Bible Marathon. Let's walk the Bible Marathon. Are there people that have made resolutions upon their heart? I pray that God may give all of us the grace. I pray that God may give all of us the grace. I pray that God may give all of us the grace. On the 31st, there are very many prophecies that fly. And we shall welcome the prophecies when they come. But let's go with what we have begun with. Our Father has preached to us. We shall welcome the prophecies when they come. Come on, come on. How the Lord is good. We are very grateful, our dear Father. May God be glorified. Uh,